Maybe Maybe it's an interesting one uh, because I think it's just women's wear still at this point, right? Mew Mew is a good example of that's technically a diffusion line. What are you going to do now, Killian? You said diffusion lines are cancer and nobody will ever succeed making them. And you're a fool. You're a moron. It's a diffusion line. I'm going to change the subject. I'm going to change the subject and talk about Yoji Yamamoto because have you ever been to Yoji Yamamoto's website? Um, Caroline won't let me go on there. Yoji Yamamoto has like 80 diffusion lines. Yes. It's absurd. Like, He's sight, like everything. wise, <laughs> ground wide. Got yeah. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing. It's like, <laughs> I, I feel like for anybody who it, it wants to just like r- remain in real life, you all you need to know is Yoji Yamamoto, the real one. Y3 is Adidas collaboration and uh, Wise, the uh, diffusion line right. that's like the most popular diffusion line. Um, Crocs. Oh, that was a good, that was a good option. We should add Crocs. Mm. Crocs. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yoji Yamamoto has a lot of diffusion lines. I need to count think... So we've got Sight. We have Wise. Wise. New era. That's just a, is that a collab more like? That's a collab. Ground, Ground Y line. is not a collab. That's a that's a diffusion line. Yeah. Main that's line. Main line. That's collab. just a collab. Like, oh, I have no idea that. what that is. Recommended oh, for you. Oh come on! There's more. Here we here we go. There it okay. is. Okay. Oh, we got Y's and we got Y's ellipsis with more than one dot, so it's like ellipsis. <laughs> period. Uh, there's uh, Limmy. There's Yomi, Yoji Yamamoto, poor Ohm is just men's. It's like this one right thing. here is Discord. That's another random one. That's his um, line exclusively for Discord, like for the like, <laughs> right, people right. on Discords. For and, the gamers. Uh, yeah, for the gamers out there. Other item, Vintage, which I think might be interesting. That's actually, um, I, yeah, right. I, I have a point to make about like them so many lines. Please. I think because... I mean, you know, Ray Kyle Kubo and Yoji Yamamoto kind of came up at the same time. They dated um, and they kind of established a lot of like they established the same kind of scene in terms of avant-garde slash Japanese fashion. Yeah. And Ray Kyle Kubo has uh, if she had a penny for every diffusion line, Woo! then she would have a million pennies. Like Comme des Garçons has a trillion diffusions. Comme des Garçons, Comme des Garçons Black, Comme des Garçons White. Come to Garçon shirt. Come to Garçon play. Come to Garçon man. Come to Garçon om. Come to Garçon om om de. Come to Garçon om. Come to Garçon om plus. Um. Yes. Come come to Garçon. CDG 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 CDG. Yeah, like come to Garçon. Uh, the the Dover Street Market edition. So I I there there has to be something there. Maybe at some point in like the 80s or 70s in Japan, the two of them said, listen, you have to make as many brands as possible. It's not about one. It's about just no. a, a million, a trillion. They're like, they're, um, they, were, they, were, they were looking at Europe and they were like, LVMH, like caring conglomerates. We can be the conglomerate. We can do that. I'll just yeah. make brands. Uh, I, but I think what's kind of remarkable, kind of, it's like, I, if you ask me, Comme de Garçon and Yoji Yamamoto, I do not think they have lost any credibility in terms of the value of their lines, like their main collection. And that's, right. that's acknowledging that Comme de Garçon play exists and mm-hmm. is, is memed into right. oblivion. Uh, and, and then still, I think that Comme de Garçon is, has maintained entirely their legitimacy because at least those two brands are both very expensive very avant-garde mm-hmm. um so nobody's mad at them but yeah you can't they keep that like authenticity within it so that you can't come at them too hard uh so this is a anybody whatever you want to talk about we've hit that part of the show where we want to yes. hear from you um serious slav i don't know if he is trying to if this is like a dog whistle or something like uh fascist hugo Wait. boss Stuff? Is he Adolf Drippler? Are you Adolf Drippler? Oh. I've been looking for that guy. He comments on my videos. He's a he's a terror. He terrorizes me. He's a Nazi. Hugo, uh, Boss, Hugo Boss was a Nazi. Yes, Hugo Boss was a Nazi. Here's a fun fact. Wild. Think of any brands that existed in Germany 
in mm-hmm. the 40s. They were Nazis. What? Yes. What? It's like, I, 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 I'm sorry. It doesn't mean you can't buy a Mercedes Benz, but it was a Nazi Benz. Um, yeah. We did a fit breakdown in the beginning, Marvin. I'm sorry that you asked. You have to watch bit. the VOD. Yeah. Hold on. Some... I'll just give you the abridge. Uh, uh, undercover Supreme hat, Mike Amiri hoodie. Yeah. Uh, random identities, Cuban link. There we go. And I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I have worn for years. What is that? Um, I think it's like American Apparel or LA Apparel. All right. Okay. It's just a, like a short sleeve sweatshirt. I like it. It's holds up. Holds up. So any Sugio, brands? Yeah. Go ahead. Any brands that survived World War II were shacked with Nazis. Are are there? I assume. Like, it's like is that? A, it's a good question. I don't. Well, Hugo Boss, I think, has its target demographic. I think that they're a successful brand. Yeah. I, I think it would be kind of a waste of time to be upset at them for the Nazi past. I, I, but, you know, I say that, and I don't know if Hugo Boss has done anything to, like, uh, amend its past. But I, I just don't. Yeah. It's like, it's like not spying a Volkswagen. Because... I actually haven't researched it. I would be curious, like, what is the ownership structure now where Hugo Boss the man to Hugo Boss the brand now? What's the chain? Because these things, obviously, they pass hands. They pass yeah. through holding companies. They pass through generations of families. I have no idea where things have landed with Hugo Boss at this point. Yeah, and I mean, I the list of, like, German brands, German fashion brands that I, I immediately think of is sometimes short. But it's like, uh, yes, yes, that is true. Chanel was it? Chanel, Nazi Louis Vuitton, style. Balenciaga. The, the yeah. Europeans and the Nazis, you know, often got pretty close. Yeah, it was yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's a bummer, huh? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but I don't know. At least um, Christian Dior, I'm almost certain wasn't because he wasn't designing clothes yet. So. Mm. He's, he's in the clear Saint um, Laurent got away scot-free scot-free he was probably like 12 exactly if he was like an adult like in his 30s maybe in the 70s he's probably a child so 30... Ma- Marvin I uh, think Amiri's kind of goofy but we went over really quickly earlier every once in a while they will just have one piece and I'm like oh that's actually fine and if it's cheap I'm good with fine. Wait, did he say Amiri or American? He corrected himself to Amiri. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about it earlier. Amiri is... Well, we'll get him on the pod. We'll get Mike Amiri Yeah, on we're the getting pod. him. Don't worry. Is Ford a Nazi since Henry... Yes. I, yes. I, I, serious Slav, I, I'm glad you did bring this up. Listen, Henry Ford was an American pioneer. He mm-hmm. transformed the world. And we should, you know, value what he did that was useful and important. But he was a, a very outspoken anti-Semite. He published multiple anti-Semitic, like, books yes. and, like, newspapers. Yes. There is apparently, and uh, I, I read about this, but it has not been released. Apparently, there is video footage of Henry Ford and Hitler hanging out. That's, like, oh. in the Henry Ford archives. I just um, love that comment so much. It's like... Uh, whoa! Well, oh, you're gonna call H.P. Lovecraft a racist now? I mean, yes, yes of course he is. Of course. Do you yes, read? Yes. The answer is yes. That doesn't mean that black people don't read and enjoy his stories, but <laughs> right. you know, it's like he guy was super racist. Um, so, uh, I, sorry, Christopher asks, maybe you should get Ye on the pod for his input, and I think this is an interesting question because if, you know, obviously, if, we've been in the talks. Completely yeah. hypothetically, as in in reality, because yes, we've been in talks. Yeah. If crazy situation, Ye was like, "Oh, let me come on." What What do you say? Like me? Are you asking? Like you're Literally. asking me? Yes, okay, yeah. everybody, everybody, they, they, we're not live anymore, right? No, no, no. Okay, listen. If Kanye wants to be on this podcast, mm-hmm. I don't care. Get him on. I will sell out like that. I, I will become a bigot like that for pu- publicity and money. I, I love it. I, I love what he thinks. Um, but in real life, 
if like a little bit more, if, if somehow in some bizarre world, the artist formerly known as Kanye West mm -hmm. wanted to be on our podcast, mm -hmm. I think it would be like insane for us not to, to an right. extent, because like, as Slav was saying, as he was trolling us earlier, well, you know, we've got a handful yeah. of viewers. If yeah. Kanye came on, it would fundamentally change how many people might be watching this. But it's at like the same that question, time, it's like it's that like, question where they're like, uh, oh, would you suck a dick for a billion dollars? It's like, well, it's like, yes. I normally am not in the business of sucking dicks, but yes, but of course. A billion? Of course. A billion. Yeah. That one act would would secure the the future of my grandchildren, right? And their children. I could take a dick for my grandchildren. Okay, that's a thousand millions. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll learn. I'll learn. I'll I'll practice. I'll do it for a mil for a billion dollars. Yes. Okay, we can do it for do, do, do. no. I said a billion. Um. I We're not playing that game. Is, we know a billion, a billion is up there. We're not playing high low anymore. Yeah, yeah. The the the, the problem with the Kanye West thing or the yeah. gay thing is obviously it's like well, it, it, there's so much potential in having him on, mm -hmm. but he would almost certainly railroad us and just start yeah. saying like horrendous things based on how he's been acting recently, and that would suck not just because we gave a platform we gave a platform yeah. for a anti-semite but it's like what what would our what would this be other than the the bias cut they had 10 episodes where a few people watched <laughs> but really everybody knows that they were just uh, nazi sympathizers i think um, real talk i think maybe the move would be to bring on like a ringer you know like a like a uh hassan or something yeah yeah we should jump and, in for when and, it gets too hot on the political side and, and, and that's the thing is like we t we message him we somehow get in contact i mean we can pull some strings it could yeah. happen yeah, yeah, yeah and we're like listen i am going to have kanye west on here you come in you can debate with him well he probably won't go off immediately and maybe that's worth it dude maybe that's worth it for you that's great right, clips right you'll almost you're you're so huge that will almost certainly go viral a clip of you yelling at yay you don't and we're just like two squares underneath it's fine I, i'm glad maybe exactly. that's the angle that's the angle yeah 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 literally and, that would be the move and, and then kanye would be like you're not a socialist you have money and he'll be like <laughs> nah, 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 nah. you know how they are i'm sorry for buying a house man yeah i'm sorry i like to live <laughs> um how did he, he just got popular from talking right yeah yeah. yeah, I think I mean real talk. I think his uncle is the uh, Young Turks owner host uh, guy, so I think he that was like kind of his nepotism. And... Nepotism. nepotism. Ne he, but he, Hassan he's, he's, is a nepo baby. You heard it here first. He's good looking. He's good looking. I so. mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull pull up a picture of us, Hassan. Let's to end, see. To, to end this out, um, for everybody, for everybody still watching, Hassan. Uh, are... What is, what do we got? Drip, drip. Uh, that's stupid. That's there the dumbest go. thing I've ever seen. Here we go. I mean, dumb, <laughs> but you can tell that his face is he's an he's an attractive man. Clearly, there you go. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. hot. Yeah, like oh, this is a lineup right here. Okay, we got yeah. canceled. Um, Andrew Callahan. Andrew Callahan is here. canceled. I'm sure. I don't even need mm -hmm. to know why. Of course, mm -hmm. he is. Anybody who does anything. Of interest right, is right. canceled. Uh, anyway, we'll have to save the Hassan drip review for yeah. Next, Hassan next drip time review. Hassan goes viral for putting his foot in his mouth. We'll do a drip review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because like honestly, I'll give I'll uh, let you guys in behind the scenes. We we weren't sure what we were going to talk about today, mm -mm. so we need to make sure we don't burn through too much content. Right, right. Okay. 